It's a clear and cold spring morning, and already the colony is buzz with activity. Newcomer Zarakvazog has been put to work as a dedicated cleaner, but his crafting skills prove useful in the vital production of components. Huck, one of the two squirrels staying with the colony for another two weeks, has stolen Lottie's bed, forcing her to sleep in the common room next to the pregnant Elisa. Raiders arrive from the White Raven Baiko, and to the surprise of all, their number consists entirely of elephids. Consideration is given to recruiting them, but it's exceedingly rare for an elder brain to accept newcomers from another's hierarchy, and so they are instead met without mercy. This policy is perhaps vindicated, as Cestis Constrac contracts sensory mechanites from the would-be assailants. These mechanites are a mutated form of micro-machines originally used to heighten the senses, and whilst they still perform this function, they do so at the cost of intensifying pain. There's little the colony can do to cure them, so it just remains to keep them as rested and comfortable as possible until the infection runs its course. To that end, the colony begins construction of a new central hospital area. The heightened senses are useful in some contexts, but the increased pain makes Hester Constrictor increasingly irritable. It will be a matter of whether they snap under its pressure, or the medical facilities are completed in time to properly treat them. Until then, the only prescription is as much bed rest as possible. But for the time being, medical treatment will be delivered wherever is most convenient for the patient, including the brain's chambers in the crypt. It's small and cramped, but a private bedroom should help Zrak to recover from the mechanites. For Elisa and Huck, it's a joyous moment as they become the lucky parents to twins. For everyone else in the colony, it's just more squirrels roaming the dining area, and these ones may not even leave when their visit is done. Severe pain is enough to put anyone on edge, and the combination of heightened senses and a rainy thunderstorm is enough to send Zestisk entirely over it. Zrak doesn't take well to Zestisk's frustrated insults either, and they fall into a violent confrontation. Fortunately, they are quickly separated and returned to separate beds and patched back up. Of all the existing sleeping spots occupied by the visiting squirrels, Lottie is begrudgingly forced to sleep elsewhere for the evening. Their residence in the hospital finally ends as Cestic and Zrag recover from the sensory mechanites, and though the incident was far from pleasant, the hospital will prove invaluable going forward. Which is good, because Lottie may just commit murder when she finds out that Elisa is already pregnant. Again. The video you just watched, as well as all of my content and projects, is supported entirely by my galaxy-brained and gorgeous patrons over on my Patreon. If you enjoy what I do and would like to get extra sneak peeks and fun treats, consider supporting me directly at patreon.com slash lying.